Hi and welcome to this video. My name is Josephine Raab and I would like to present my course project for the Tech Basics 2 course at the Lafana University Lüneburg. For my final project I created an Android app. This Android app visualizes bus routes on an interactive map. It stems from the need that sometimes it's really interesting to know in which general direction buses go or which areas are served by, by which buses. Somehow this data is very hard to retrieve nowadays online, so this is why I built an app to do exactly that. We're working on the example of London and this is a beta version, so a few functionalities are not available yet, but will be soon. Let's have a look together. We're currently looking at my mobile device. This is an, Galaxy, an Android Galaxy S7. If I just scroll through and get to the apps, I can see my Bus Routes London app. Double click to open it. And this is the one screen. This is how I'm greeted. And immediately with at one glance, I can see which buses are served by which, uh, which areas are served by which buses. Let's say, for example, I really want to go to East London and just generally want to see what's up there. I can look at this green bus, for example, uh, this blue bus. I can easily scroll in and visualize what exactly it's passing, what could be on my route, where I want to go off, get off, what I want to see. And as you can see, the route is casted very precisely. So even at the uh, roundabouts or at the cross sections, there is it follows the street. There you go. And this is how I find out where this bus terminates. If I click on the marker, it tells me the bus line. And this is the easy way for me to find how to go in this area and what I can see on the way. Obviously this works with the different lines and this is a way to get an overview. This is not an app made for journey planning but this is a let's call it a wanderlust app to see oh, what should happen when I go in this direction. Obviously I can see all the names here. These are not all of the London buses yet but I'm planning on adding them very soon, so stay tuned for the next version. Up until then, um, I'm going to link a different video where I'm going to explain the background setup of this app or how I developed it in using Android Studio. If you have any other comments, please leave them under this video or use the feedback button up here, which will send me a direct email. Thank you very much and I'm looking forward for your feedback.